Hello, Monsters of Banishment. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2, Mortal Empires, The Twisted and The Twilight, and the fifth part of my Dryker campaign, The War Great War Grave, War Great, Great of Woe, something of Woe. It's fine, don't worry about it. Uh, we have our first forest almost completed. It's Ritual of Rebirth. We are four turns away, not too bad. And now my thoughts must turn. They must turn to how the fucking hell... Am I going to now? I want to. I want to go to Lulorn Forest, and I want to kick the shit out of them. How am I going to do that though? Because their garrison. Oh, it's actually not, it's not as big as I thought it would be. That's fine. Um, the garrison's not actually that bad. So I was a little bit worried about that, but no, it's fine. Uh, we've got Okie Doke as well. He's going to defend Griffin Wood for us. That's very good of him. Thank you, Okie Doke. He's the friendliest of folk. It's Mr. Okie Doke. Of course, if you go anywhere near him, he will rip your face off. Now, um, a lot of stuff in this army will rip your face off. Pretty much everything. I might want to recruit some different units here, though. I might want to get a few more. Maybe some some more tree men? Maybe reduce the number of dryads. Get a few more tree kin. Don't know. Maybe do that. We'll have a we'll mull that over. Um, in the meantime, let's get the transformation of Cade on. Because getting... Oh, we've got, we've got lots of skill points. Holy shit. Uh, earthing. Make sure you don't explode. You're casting, chain casting, um, what should we call it? Uh, best spell in the game. Uh, let's let's get regrowth. Do I want regrowth? Yeah, sure. Sure, let's do that. Oh, of course, I've got two skill points. Oh, my fuck. Uh, Arcane Conjurer. Perfect. Okay, now, what I, now, to deal with this, I think what I need, what I want, what I really, really want is Lightning Strike. So we're going to aim to get Lightning Strike. In the meantime, um, we're not going to recruit any cavalry, so there's no point doing that. Let's get the sacrificial grounds. What we're going to do here is we're basically going to go and kick the shit out of out of Manfred because last time he threw everything he could at us. He he did his best. wasn't good enough, but he did his best. We're going to get the wisdom of the Eagle Lords, and the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to see what's going on. This will give us visibility over all of the forests, and I want to see what's what's up. What's what's happening? What the 911 is. I think that's what the kids say. Anywho. Uh, uh, now, I could get more recruit rank for thingies, but do I need to? Mm -hmm. Also, I've got. I think I was going to get the Azurai Forge, wasn't I? Yes. I was going to. Oh, was I going to do that? I think I was. Let's also get the Arbiter's Perch, because that's going to reduce the upkeep of any defending garrison. And basically. I need, in fact, kicking the shit out of Manfred would, would fulfill two things. One, it's going to make me happy because I like hurting Manfred. Two, it's going to please Carl. And keeping Carl on side with the Order Tide, especially when we have, we're going to have a couple of uh, forests in his neighbourhood, probably a good thing because I cannot be fucked to have to purge the entire fucking empire just to keep a couple of forests safe. Right? It's... It's just, it, it feels like busy work. So instead, we're going to befriend Carl, not because I like him, not because I want to be friends with him, just to keep him off my fucking back, is basically what we're going to do. So uh, there we go, that's the plan. Incidentally, I've got some, like, hot spiced apple drink with cinnamon in it. It's fucking amazing. You don't need to know that, I just thought I'd let you know. Okay, those Imperial Prize forces do not seem to be doing shits. Now we can now see what's going on, so let's have a little look. What we got what we got going on over here. So they have a full stack. As far as I can see. Can we take it? I think we can. I think we can. We've also got uh, the Oak of Ages, which is currently healing up. It's at rank uh I can't see, but that's fine. <laughs> it's uh, it's slowly healing up, so that's nice. Currently just because of forest here, and I think that's our forest. 100% sure. The Forest of Gloom is owned by the Dwarves. Now that's a problem because that means they're going to have to kill the Dwarves to uh, to retake that. Mm -hmm. Orion's camp is defended by two stacks of troops plus uh, not a very big garrison, but never mind. And what's this one? Okay, there's a little slam there, little garrison. That doesn't look as bad as as bad as I was as I was fearing. Over here we've got. Two stacks, lovely, and then Gay and Vale is defended by oh, Master of Cruelty. Hello there. I am the bright flower How of the goddess. What are you doing? So you have three settlements, do you? One, two, three. Is that two there? Maybe. Oh, and this one, right? 
It looks like Marathi owns a shit ton more though. That is interesting. Okay, now I'm probably going to go for Lalonde Forest simply because it's close to where I need to do uh, my quest for my quest battle and uh, free up Coadil as well, who will be a potent ally in our future battles. So, in the meantime, let's go. I mean, we don't have much to do because these guys, I mean, they're not going to do shit, are they? What are they going to do? Try and attack me like a bunch of little bitches. Douse it. What do they have left? Badly damaged. Yeah, okay, good. Let's go and kill Manfred then. Because if we kill Manfred, that'll make Carl happy, and then Carl will leave me the fuck alone. Bop. Uh, raise. We'll take a little bit of damage, but I say Manfred threw everything he had at us and failed. So, don't think we have to worry too much about that. Okay, let's get one to the forest, and I want open branches, then I want lightning strike. That's the plan. The plan is good. Probably. And we'll grab the dwellers below, because that's pretty good. Nice, nice, nice AoE. And we've still got three turns on that, so that's fine. We've got research available. Let's go with uh income oh, okay, income face paddle loot's quite nice. We're unlikely to get ports any well, are we? See, I say we're unlikely to get ports anytime soon, but casualty replenishment rate is better. Let's go this way because income from post battle loot and my magic item drop chance is not the worst thing to have okay assault garrison vengeance shall reign as you journey across the deep forest you happen across an ancient grove of rare ash trees woeful whispers fill the air between the canopies whispers of past atrocities committed against these groves throughout its unimaginable long existence magic is stronger here too this is most fortuitous the ash trees enchanted wood could be used to produce magically lethal arrows slightly and superbly weighted to travel great distances appears the hearts of your foes good if we had any missile units but we don't I'm going to go down and hit Eshin as well, because it looks like Talabeklan's on its way, and uh, I just... I don't want them to raise what I'm going to raise, so... Uh, raise! Good. We've got big monies. Now, uh, where is Carl, and does he like what I'm doing? Do you like me, Carl? Do you think I'm sexy? Friends of the Empire. He does like me. Um, can we give you a lot of money, just to keep you fucking... Agreed. Good. Piss off. Right. Okay, good. Now, while we were just waiting for that to tick down, uh, that's also going to help us level up and stuff and allow us to get uh, the... Do I need five skill points? Are you shitting me? What? Fine. What's the other? Ambush success chance on Ah, I'm going to get this because that's going to give a rate... Of... That's more income from raiding and shit. That's what we want. Upsy daisy. Uh, flock of... Two... Go for seeker. For the greener good. The stranger of the Azrai tentatively approaches the war grove before you follow your instincts and immediately impale him with the sharpest branch limb. He earnestly reveals he is a messenger sent from the nearby conclave of Wood Elves. He speaks of many great threats to the woodlands and how by working together they can overcome for the greater good of all the forests and the tree spirits within. What do you say? Tell the elves to get the fuck out or relations with Wood Elves. Um, now, I don't I already have a massive tally against Wood Elves, so this is just going to remove the, the massive penalty. Fuck that, where are the dryads? Screw you, you pointy-eared freaks. The only good elf is a dead one. Hang on, who's this? Is that bloody... It can't be Azhag, can it? Could it be Azhag? How the fuck did he get them? It's not a big deal. Uh, right, let's... Let's ambush and see what... See if we can pick up anything. See if we get a, get a, get a nibble. I quite like Dwellers Below. I mean, it wrecks my... my FPS, but in every other respect, it's great. So you ladies here now have the extra... So you now have 35% physical resistance. You also have... Um, what's the, What does that skill point do again? Forest of Shield. Physical resistance is more armor and melee defense. Yes. So you're now... Ma uh, you're not max rank, but you now have... You max rank? Do you get the bonus? Mm, I don't feel like you do... So at 
Rank n uh, 7, they now get 53 melee attack, 42 melee defense, 72 armor, 41 weapon strength with additional bonus verse infantry. So that's another 6 bonus verse infantry, so that increases their melee attack when they're fighting infantry as well. They also have frenzy on top of that, and 35% physical resistance. They're also pretty quick at 46 speed. I mean, that... Dryker's Dryads are... Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Friends of the Empire, come. Come on, come on, Carl. Give me a non-aggression pact, you big you big bastard. Really? Offer your night right, what about that much? Moderate. No, sir. Sir? The fucking bush. Ah! I thought this might happen. Lovely. Okay. Um, I will take the replenishment, I guess. Oh, we've met Grimgold's Ard Boys. Hello. You're going to declare war on me? Yeah, I thought you would. I thought you would somehow. I just had that inkling. Bosh. We have healed our forest. Excellent. Oh, actually, I know what I was going to... That's why I wasn't going to build that. Uh, shall I get rid of... I'll get rid of that building, and then I can build the special building. There we go. Good. So we've got uh, the Ritual of Rebirth succeeded. You have successfully completed the Ritual of Rebirth, healing the world roots beneath Griffinwood and granting the forest its glory and sentience once more. There will always be men driven by misguided bravery or foolishness who will try to claim the world's forest as their own. But the revitalization of the world roots in this region now means that to do so here is to risk the wrath of the powerful spirits now return to dwell amongst the glades, burrows, and branches. So we get a cooldown reduction for deep roots for five turns. We get one amber. We get 5,000 big ones. And we also get extra growth and public order in all regions. So there we go. And we can also now build our special building. And uh, that's all good. So we have healed our forest. Now, that means that... If I go over here, I think we only have to get a forest to... Yes. So as soon as you get the forest to 100 growth or health, it then... What I don't know is, do we get the bonuses from the Oak of Ages? It depends on the cooldown, I guess. Because currently we would have a five turn cooldown on the world routes. But if the Oak of Ages is actually affecting us, then we would also, it would, it would be four turns, wouldn't it? I'm not sure it does affect us. Uh, Dryker is the only Wood Elf faction who doesn't start with Yoke of Ages. I refuse. Okay, we've still got some little drips and drabs here. I'm surprised they didn't go and attack, um, attack the forest or whatever, but I guess maybe they just weren't strong enough. They saw it and were like, I don't want to do that, actually. Oh, could we... Welcome to my throne. Non-aggression, trade pact. I suppose. Good. Now, you're not currently allies with the dwarves, and we're going to have to kill them at some point. But we'll worry about that bridge when we have to cross it. In the meantime, I'm just going to... I'm just going to live life to the full. Open branches. Perfect. Hopefully, killing that army will give me a lightning strike. Again, I can go and bop the lawn forest. Fingers crossed. Blah, 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 blah. Do I need, you know, I want to get some of these abilities. Mind you, Pan's impenetrable pelt. Not only is it hard to say, but it's not a bad spell. On the other hand, we've got, we've got the best spell in the game, so we don't really need it. Uh, let's, what melee attack have you got? 60. That's pretty good, actually. Let's go for more weapon strength. We've got multiple skills. In that case, just more weapon strength. There we go. There we go. Okay, one, you get immortality. Bosh. And we're going to kill those guys. Griffin Wood needs to knock that down. We've got a few... We've got a couple of settlements. I mean, the, the, the Heathens, we don't really need now. We could abandon these, and it would have absolutely zero effect on us. The only settlement that brings in any kind of money are the ports, and they're not an awful lot. Hello. Are you doing a clear war on me? Yep. Yep. 
Yep, yep. Oh, God damn it, Azhag. He's back, back again. The Horde of Goblins this time. That's probably enough to knock out the um, defences, but I just don't care. Uh, let's take the money, I guess. Okay, they're all dead. Dryka has leveled up, which is perfect because we can get Lightning Strike. Excellent. Now, next thing, do we want to get more Tree Boys? <gasps> I'll get some spitters. I want some spitters as well. Spitters are good. I'm tempted to replace the hawks with the spitters because while the hawks are good, I mean they are good. I do want some spitters though. May right. Okay, let's think about this. I mean, some zotes would be not the worst thing. Basically, I just need all the things. Maybe what I want to do is keep like four units of dryads. Get a couple more malevolent treemen. And then a couple of units of spitters. We've got a lot of fast moving units though. Mind you, the treemen are quite tanky. Okay, yeah, that, okay, that, that, that's. Yeah. Well, to, what we can do, actually, is we can give Okie Doke. We can give Okie Doke the Dryads, so we're not wasting them. Then we can grab a, grab a couple of them. I'm right, I'm tempted to get a unit of Zotes. I don't know what I'd use them for. They're anti-large, but then, is that a problem? See, they're really pricey compared to our spirit units. They're 425, which is very expensive. I don't think it's worth it. I think we're going to get a couple of spitters. And then we've got a couple of malevolent tree. We've got four dryads on the flanks. We've got three tree men, two... And, yeah, so I, I think that works. I'm tempted to maybe get rid of one of these and then get another tree kin. Because now we've got two units of spiders. I feel like... Okay. Let's get... I don't like... Okay, that... that... Okie doke. You can't... Can we... We can't quite reach each other. Never mind. Uh, tell you what. You recruit a tree kin... And then we can try... Ba basically, I'm trying to work out what I'm doing here. And uh, I can dump some units onto Okie Doke. I'm trying to think what's going to be... The thing is, I... Against enemy wood elves, having fast-moving units is going to be paramount, isn't it? So actually, maybe keeping the, the good boys and the spiders is, is what we need to do. This is very ballsy. That's the only problem. Um, so we're going to go flesh to stone. Yeah, okay. Because we can see they've got a stack here. There's no way of luring them out. Which is kind of a problem. No way of luring them out. Now the nice thing is we have an amber. So as soon as we get that tech, we can um, research some more amber tech. And that could give us some really useful bonuses. Yeah, I don't care about that. Have it back. If it means so much to you, have it back. Frankly, I'm surprised that no one's killed him. Hello, military access. You want 2,220... Oh, all right. Just to keep everyone off my back. I've got shit to do, and I don't need to be dealing with 15 stacks of fucking steam tanks. My life is just... Oh, Avalon calls for rage. Mention the Avalon. Call the Avalon. Blah, 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 blah. So we have this one. So we can actually go to Gay and Vale and take that, and that's a freebie. Is that the is that the better option? Is that the better option? I mean, I want to get Coadil though, but we only get one chance at Gay and Vale. Maybe we could do both. Can we do both? That seems dicey, doesn't it? 
We've got big cooldowns on the world route, though. So currently, uh, can we actually see what the cooldown is? No. Okay, we need, we need one turn left to recruit those, those tree men. But I reckon we can take Gay and Vale. I'm going to leave... Right, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this army as it is. Or do I? Oh, fuck. Okay, let's... Let's trade one good boy for a Treekin. That works. I'm going to take Expert Charge Defense, Melee Defense, Physical Resist... Um, let's go with whatever is going to make... I guess Charge Defense? Just, just seems the best thing to have. What against Wood Elves? They're not going to have much armor, are they? So I think that's probably the best thing to have. I think we're going to go with that. Okay, one more turn. We're going to go to Lulon Forest. We're going to throw themselves. We're going to throw ourselves against the defenders and hopefully murder the fucking lot of them. And take their stupid tree. Why is... I mean, I... I literally pounded Azhag into oblivion. And no one finished him off. I feel like that's not on me. I did a lot of work there. And I was just too lazy to finish him off. But anyone could have done that. And now look at him. He's re-established himself. That's not my bad. I mean, normally Azhag just gets absolutely murdered. So I don't know why this time he's seemingly okay. Despite the fact I kicked the shit out of him. Never mind. Okay, so let's get the tech. So we're going now. So we've got some options here. I quite like poison attacks for all of my units. Missile resistance isn't bad, but... Additional five health is going to be very useful, but I don't. I'm okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm torn between the death blow. I don't know if we're going to use that very much though. But the the stalk for giant wolves and giant spiders could be invaluable. Physical resistance for those units though, plus um, the murderous sprites for malicious tree men. That could be quite nice, but the poison attacks are always nice. Oh, there's some, there's some good skills here. I just don't know which one to take. I th think we're going to go... Because poison is going to just... Cause all kinds of issues for the units we're attacking. So we're going to get poison. That's what we're going to do. Okay, and then we're going to go... Yeah, you have the aspect of the birch, which is less physical resistance, more weapon damage and speed. Which I do like. Because armor piercing damage is pure damage. So we're going to do that. And then finally, we're going to travel through the world routes to the Lawn Forest. Now, I'm going to. I'm going to scooch here. And I'm going to lay ambush. Consider yourself lucky that we didn't send you to parlay with the dryads. Bitch, I am the fucking dryads. God damn it, these these people. Hey Boris. Oh, all right. Fair dues. Hello, green skins. Oh, you want to grab that? Um, I'm going to say no because I'm going to want to start killing a lot of people in this general area. Oh, you're going to declare war on me as well. All right. And yet you didn't attack me. Interesting. Okay, now we've got poison attacks. Now we've got poison attacks, and Upsy Daisy is a fucking murder bush. Okay. Got a lot of Glade Guard. That's not, not the worst thing. That's a beefy garrison, though. Is this... Is this... Is, is this suicide? If we could get them outside of the city, it would be alright. But it just isn't going to happen, is it? Um, 
I mean, it's, it's do or die. Emphasis on the on the die. I think we could potentially. Okay, what's what's the map look like? We could potentially just lay siege and see if they want to come out to play. I might, I might see if they want to come out. I might do that. Because that's decidedly fucking dicey. What's the cooldown on the world? The three turns on the world routes. If they don't want to let us attack, we could potentially bring Okie Doke in as reinforcements. That is a potential. Be at peace. Well, that is aggression. Um. All right. Fine. Now can I have a trade agreement? I don't agree with that. Oh, God damn it, Carl! Curse your perfectly chiseled jaw. Oh, they're moving fast. I did not think they'd be there that quickly, but uh, that's. I mean, it's a lot of goblins. So we don't have to worry about the heathens anymore. As I say, it, it isn't giving us anything, really. So it's not not a problem that there are... Oh, they're coming for us. We could back away and see if they want to chase us. They won't want to chase us, will they? What's the battlefield look like? Okay, we have the... Def uh, we got the defensive position this time. It might okay, let's let let's let's do it boys and girls. Death or glory. Okay, we lucked out in that the enemy garrison is coming in from behind us, and of course because we can vanguard deploy We've decided to ignore them. So, in fact, we've deployed right on top of the enemy army, whereas the garrison is coming in back here, miles away. It's going to take them friggin' ages to arrive. Lovely little amber spear there. It is doing, uh, well, lots of damage. 79 kills. Also, the dwellers below also doing a lot of damage. We're charging in, trying to herd all of these um, glade guard with the good boys coming in from both sides. We've also got the spiders coming in from here as well. The hawks... Okay, the good boys have jumped the Glade Guards. So they're going to be carving them apart. Our Spitters are also coming in. Our Spitters are great because they got um, armor piercing, which means they just rip through everything. Something the good boys don't have. The Spiders are slower. They have poison attacks. But then you, mind you, most of our stuff now has poison attacks. We've got some War Dancer Azrai Spears here, but the Dryads, more than a match for them. Kill them! Then some Tree can come in to help as well. It's just an absolute slaughter as we give the Elves no time to use their... The forest does not rest for the Lady Ariel. Yeah, you say that. Uh, yeah, we give the Elves no time to use their, their ranged advantage. We just jump them immediately and tear them limb from limb. There's a big blob of infantry units here just getting slaughtered from every side. I don't think my end is nigh. I think your end is nigh, to be honest. You're the one surrounded by very angry, angry bushes, aren't you? And the good boys have it once again. Oh, they're just so good. Such good boys. Now, I've got a slight problem over here. It's, it's these... This... This Glade Guard. Also, apparently I've unbugged Amber Spear because I'm, I'm no longer going to cast Amber Spear without win, without any wins of magic. It's, it's not it's not letting me do it. I don't know why it stopped, um, but I've now got this pain in the ass, just plinking away at me from fucking miles away. And it's quite annoying. So... I'm going to bring my hawks in, plus some good boys to deal with that. Meanwhile, we're just mopping up the survivors. We do have a couple of units of glade riders who have arrived. 
Um, they just got eaten by the good boys, because of course good boys are the goodest boys. And of course they're a lot faster than them as well, so that helps. Okay, so that's that little problem dealt with. In comes the hawk to deal with that glade lord. Now, the rest of the enemy army is approaching, uh, but it's going to take them a little while. This map is friggin' massive, by the way. It's one of the biggest maps, I think, in the game. If we, uh, if I come over here, you can... This is, this is one edge of the map, right? This is one... Right, I can barely see the other side. It's huge. It's massive. It takes friggin' ages to get from one side to the other. So because of that, I'm not going to make you watch the march slowly in this direction. We're going to hide this forest over here, and we're going to prep the spitters and the good boys and hawks to flank around. The idea being we're going to jump them as soon as we can with our main force and then flank them and bring in our units from behind, close the trap, kill all of them, take their stupid tree. I mean, their brilliant tree, because we love the trees. We are trees. Okay, here we go again. Round two. Ding, ding. The bastards are firing fire arrows at us. What a bunch of dicks. Don't they know only they can prevent forest fires? Okay, we're charging in. Dryka is going to use her freeze ability. And then we're going to drop some rocks on their heads because fuck these guys. Yep, that does a lot of damage. You are no, longer Azrae. no, we're, we're bushes, so screw you. Meanwhile, we've got the hawks charging in from the rear. We've got spiders coming in from the forest, charging down those deep wood scouts. Good boys coming into the rear of those tree kin and doing a lot of damage very, very quickly. Just one small group of a two units of eternal spears and a tree man. We're going to try a tree man on tree man action. Um, unfortunately, this is going to be very slow action. Stay slow action because the enemy army is completely devastated. We have torn them, torn them limb from limb within seconds. And now it's just a case of mopping up. I honestly thought this battle would be a little bit tougher than this. Uh, it would have been had the armies deployed together. The fact that the garrison deployed like over here, I guess the thing is, this is the, um, the settlement defense map. And normally the defender, so if you're attacking the settlement, sets up over here. So I guess the reason the garrison came in from the rear is because that's the settlement. But for some reason, when they decided to attack me when I was sieging the settlement, apparently we changed ends. And I don't entirely know why. Maybe it's just, you know, a fair play thing. Either way, um, it hasn't worked out for them. Also, that tree man is going to get Scott away for it because they, it, it's such a, it, it's the slowest chase in history. The shall End them. I mean, we certainly lucked out there that uh, the reinforcements spawned directly behind us. Not 100% sure how that works, but um, you know what? I'm not going to complain about it. So, uh, well done. I mean, we suffered very light casualties. I think we were lucky in that we didn't... Like, had I tried to have an archery duel with this, it wouldn't have turned out well. But because we just went bows are for losers, we could just pile on in and tear them apart before they could do much damage. Um, and then, of course, the reinforcements coming in spread themselves out, so that made that a little bit easier as well. So I think... I think that really couldn't have gone any better, to be honest. Um, I'm going to take the... Ca now, obviously, this means that this should be a nice, a nice easy uh, water resolve. Because it looks like there's only one way stalker and that tree man left. Yeah, well, good. And uh, that's mine now. Oh, forbidden rods. And fire bark elders. Okay, good. We have taken... Oh god, look at all this stuff. It's all trashed. Uh, right, we'll take that. That's elves. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We'll repair that. Uh, we'll repair that one. And repair that one. We could actually upgrade you right away. 
Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Going balls for wall. There we go. Okay, so... We are... Now, we will be gaining a little bit because we have the rank three here. So we will be getting uh, one forest growth per turn. However, if we have a look at the... So we've got Middenheim and the Black Pit, both of which are owned by our enemies, which of course is Midland. And so we will be losing forest health. So, first job, kick the shit out of Boris. That's... Uh, that's that's the first thing we need to do. I'm tempted to get Quartermaster. Should we do that? Natural Order would be quite nice. I don't... I'm not really going to get any elves. This is okay. I guess this is... Okay, let, let's grab that. We'll grab that for the moment. Now we do have enemies down here, so we do need. Let's get another. Fuck it, let's get another. I, I do love my good boys. They're such good boys. And uh, I mean, tree man. I mean, we already have one tree man, doesn't it? Oh wait, you are the the guy of the trees, aren't you? Hang on, not that one. That. One. Excuse me. My cut. Thank you. Okay, there we go. That was weird. Right, upkeep reduction for tree men. Yes, so we want tree men. Obviously. Okay, let's get three tree men. Fine, whatever. Let's do that. Good. Good times. An upsy daisy. You need. What do I want upsy daisy to have? Flock of doom. More killy. More killy. Already quite killy. Be more killy. You definitely be more killy. We can probably get another branch raise, can't we? Oh, we need this one. Oh, that will also increase the rank. So we can get another branch wraith, but if we wait... If we wait until that's built, then there'll be rank six. In fact, if we build this, there'll be even more ranks. So... Sure. Two turns, we get a rank nine branch wraith to sit with Okie Doke and look after him. Uh, we do have... Now, I mean, the thing is, we've got a massive garrison here, right? We've got... It's, it's full of Wildwood Rangers. And, and admittedly, all these guys are drugged to the balls. But that's fine, because we've also got Okie Doke here defending the settlement with all of his tree boys. Or he will do as soon as he's got the boys together. Exactly what he's doing right now. And Dryker is about to go on a bit of a rampage. Now, we do actually have a quest to... Where is it? Here we go. We need to raid Middenheim. Now, fortunately, Middenheim is right here. So that's going to be quite easy to fulfill. How do you get on with the Reichland just out of interest? Oh, you like them. That's a problem because I feel like Carl's going to be slightly upset when I start, you know, killing you. It's not a weak order, you great... Okay, we've got that one. Could I maybe do that? Oh, okay. Don't know why that makes any sense, but sure, whatever the... What the fuck? Never mind. Okay. Um, now, as long as they're not military allies, it should be fine. If we kill them very quickly, then Carl should, you know, forget about it. I hope. Also, we could also go and do the Gay and Vale thing. Now, how many... We've got two turns left on the... How many turns left on the quest? Oh, it's the event. It's just an event, wasn't it? Uh, deep roots cleared? I don't think it was that one. I don't know, but at some point, these guys will die, and Marathi will probably go and settle Gay and Vale again. The fact that Morathi's there might not actually be the worst thing. I am bitten not to destroy you. Consider yourself lucky. I do. So, because she's taken over a bunch of stuff, we could either ally ourselves with Morathi and start beating up the High Elves, or alternatively, beat up Marathi and ally ourselves with the High Elves. We have options, right? It's, you know, what should we do? I don't know. But, but, are we, wait, are we at war with them? Um... Oh, that's just their relation to them, that's fine. It's like, are we at war with Alariel? Didn't think we were. And we're not. Uh, right, well, that's one tree down. I don't know how we're going to get the others, though, because, you know, that fight was bad enough, and that was just an army and a garrison. And these guys have got, like, two fucking armies. I don't know how I'd deal with that. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be dicey. 
I'll be honest, but I reckon I reckon we can do it. Also, we need to go into we need to deal with this. What we could potentially do is if we kill three dwarf armies, we can confederate with Durthu. That would give us the foothold we need to then go and kick the shit out of the rest of the higher uh, high elves, wood elves. Let's just kill a bunch of elves. Well, that's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.